Pens. I lose one to the washing machine at least once a week. Before we dive into the history of pens, let's take a quick look at how people wrote before the invention of pens. People have been writing for thousands of years, and early writing tools were quite different from what we use today. In ancient times, people used things like reeds, quills, and brushes to write. These early writing tools were made from natural materials like feathers, bamboo, and animal bones. They were time consuming to make and not very practical, but they served the purpose of recording important information. The ancient Egyptians used reeds to write on papyrus scrolls. The reeds were cut to a point and then dipped in ink. The ink was made from a mixture of soot and water, and it was used to write the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. The quill, on the other hand, was a popular writing tool in Europe during the Middle Ages. Quills were made from the feathers of large birds such as geese, and they were sharpened to a point. The ink was stored in a small container, and the quill was dipped into the ink before writing. Fast forward to the 19th century, and the invention of the fountain pen changed the game. The fountain pen was invented by a man named L.E. Waterman, and it was revolutionary because it allowed people to write without having to dip the pen in ink every time they needed to write. This made writing much more efficient, and the fountain pen quickly became a popular writing tool. The fountain pen worked by using gravity to feed the ink from a reservoir into the nib of the pen. The ink flowed from the reservoir through a small channel in the nib and onto the paper. The design of the fountain pen made it much more practical than earlier writing tools like the quill, and it soon became a popular tool for everyday writing and note taking. However, the fountain pen still had its flaws. The ink would leak, and the pen had to be refilled often. So in 1945, a man named Laszlo Biro invented a new type of pen called the ballpoint pen. The ballpoint pen used thicker, oil-based ink that didn't leak, and the ink was stored inside the pen so it didn't have to be refilled as often. The ballpoint pen became an instant hit, and is still the most popular type of pen today. The ballpoint pen worked by using a tiny ball bearing in the tip of the pen. The ball rotated as the pen moved across the paper, and this caused the ink to flow onto the paper. The ink was thicker than the ink used in fountain pens, and it didn't smudge or smear, making it much more practical for everyday writing. Since the invention of the ballpoint pen, pens have continued to evolve and improve. Today we have pens with retractable tips, pens that can write upside down, and pens that can write in multiple colors. We even have pens that can write on almost any surface, including glass and metal. In recent years, there has also been a growing trend towards sustainable and eco-friendly pens. Many companies are now making pens from recycled materials, as well as pens that use refillable ink cartridges instead of disposable pens. These sustainable pens are a great way to reduce waste, and they're a great example of how pens have evolved to meet the changing needs of a society. So there you have it guys, the history of pens from early writing tools like reeds and quills to the advanced pens we have today. It's amazing to think about how far we've come in such a short amount of time. Whether you prefer ballpoint pens, rollerball pens, or even the old fountain pens, there's no denying the impact that pens have had on our world. They've made it easier for us to communicate, record our thoughts and ideas, and express our creativity. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more history. And if you have any ideas of an item you'd like to learn more about, comment it below. Bye now.